No, no lo. You know, you should spend less time dancing in front of the mirror, more time trying to find a girlfriend. And when my girlfriend told me to spend less time trying to find a girlfriend and tell me to go find a dog. <laughs> a dog wouldn't be such a bad idea either. You like dogs, don't you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Well, because they, uh, they show you unconditional love and follow you around and wag their tails when they see you. They're obedient. <laughs> well, you're just upset because I'm the only guy you know who hasn't tried to go for you. Not true. I don't care at all. Oh, really? So you just come over to your neighbors at one in the morning and watch him dance by himself because you find that interesting? Interesting, yes. But in the same way that I find sea anemones interesting. Well, you put your fingers in sea anemones all the time. Can you toss me that shirt? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I wish I could dance like you. Go on and get up then. I don't know how. Sure you do. I'm not going to embarrass myself. Well, <laughs> well, I'm the only one here and embarrass yourself enough in front of me with those, uh, with those purple plaid. <laughs> hey, my grandmother bought these for me and she happens to be senile. <sighs> I remember my first dance. I was in seventh grade. So I was 12 years old. And it was in Alicia Patterson's mom's garage. I don't even know how I got invited. But, oh man, I wore this red polo shirt with a stripe across and blue jeans. I mean, my only friends at the time were my cat Melvin and my acne medication. So it wasn't a wallflower, more just kind of a weed. I remember all the boys and all the girls were all nervous. Nobody wanted to dance. And I sat there in the corner next to the punch bowl. And I remember the instant when I realized, you know, I can control my own destiny. And I went out there and danced. So what happened? Uh, well, you know, the guys laughed at me and called me weird, but... I just kept dancing. And I've been dancing ever since. You know, it's really weird. When I'm not in this room, I feel like I'm just existing. Like I'm not impacting anyone and no one's impacting me. I think you're one of the only people that I'm there with. There's a heaven and there's a star for you.